The Monkey Buccaneer is one of my favorite towers in Bloom City 6, and recently in this last update, he's gone through some changes. He used to shoot a dart with his grape shots, but now when you upgrade to the cannon ship, that dart is no longer there, but you've gotten extra damage with your grape shots. Is that a buff or a nerf? We're gonna find out today. I actually think it's gonna be a buff because you weren't getting much power out of those darts, but what I have noticed is kind of like a weird interaction is that when you go up to the second tier top path with the double shot, you're not getting double the shots of cannon. You're just getting an one extra grape. So I thought that was kind of a weird, it's like a little bit of a useless upgrade for spending that money. But I mean, we're still going to get it because we will have that before we're going to have the cannon ship. It's just later on doesn't really make that much of sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to be on chimps mode here. We're going to see how far we can go with just the boat and what we need to add to make the boat be the final tower to take on chimps mode. Now we're going to be going with middle path, of course. And to be completely honest, I think this thing's going to tear it up on its own. The boat middle path has always been a great powerhouse of a tower, but I chose this map because you only get really two chances to knock these things out right at the incoming and then back on the other end. But it gets so overwhelming that you get this big pile in the middle and you just lose. So this is a beginner map, but it does have some toughness when you're trying to just use one tower. Now, of course, faster shooting is going to make a huge difference. You're shooting faster. It's going to be great whether you have cannons, darts, whatever you call it. It's just this next upgrade doesn't make sense to me. Let me know below what you think, but shouldn't you be getting like double the cannons? I feel like you should, right? But now we're just getting one more great because watch. Okay. So you can see it in slow motion. You're just getting one dart and it's not the strongest thing in the world, but it's doing what it needs to do. It's popping the balloons. So now when we go double shot, we're going to be having two of them, of course. So you can see two, if you just look real closely there, you can see two little darts, but they just completely disappear when you go for a two, three, zero, no more darts at all but I think you get an extra grape or I could be wrong. You're supposed to have like five and then you get six, which I do see six grapes there. So we probably had five and now we have six, but we do need one hero here. I'm gonna keep him off in the corner. He's not gonna be doing anything like popping power wise. We're just gonna be using for the basics like camo and see how far we can make it. So I guess this is kind of like a two mega pops challenge as well. And the reason why the boat's one of my favorites is just, well, the monkey buccaneer just by itself is one of the coolest looking towers. He just on a boat, you can't be happier than when you're on a boat. Trust me. I have this little dinghy boat, little Boston whaler. I just take that on the lake and all of my troubles in the world go away. And then not only that, he's living the pirate life. And then not only that, he can pop all types of balloons. Right now, he can pop everything but camo. Purple balloons, black balloons even because he can just grape shot them with fire because watch this. Boom. Bomb can't do that. But this guy can, which is awesome. So we are going to have to use some camo though. And it looks like we're actually getting a little overwhelmed. And we're going to need 5290 to get to the next one. We probably should have gone with grape shots a little longer, to be honest. A little nervous about it, but we should be okay. Now, if we need to, we are going to buff him with an alchemist. We are going to use glue to slow things down. You know, the huge, but we're going to make him do 99% of the popping and see how good it is. I really like the cannon ship. I think it's a great tower just because you think you're about to lose. Like a balloon just slipped through there, actually. And then boom, he just makes it disappear in one go. It's awesome. Oh, but the whole point of this, look it, he has no more darts. They're gone. So it's kind of sad in a way. So you've been given extra damage, but you lost a dart. He lost a part of himself. Well, that's what this whole thing is, is darts popping balloons. And now that's just not a thing anymore. So how do you feel about that? Let me know below. But I feel like that dart was like quintessential to the boat. Like he needs his darts. You can't turn his darts into grapes and then just take him away completely for cannons, but then not give me two cannonballs. It makes no sense. Now he's been stronger fied. So not only does he do more damage, but I believe his damage over time has been updated. When you get the fourth path. Okay. Monkey pirates damage over and damage over time increase to two out of two to four. But I'm pretty certain that if I can get 5290 for monkey pirates before we lose anything here, I think we're going to be like totally golden. And then I think even if we lose, we can just switch to strong and just work a couple on that. See how we just lost to one yellow. But the good thing about the boat is like you can just switch to strong and he'll just take everything out because he shoots out both sides at such a huge spray. As I say that he loses that one. So I have to switch back and forth. But you go strong first. There we go. There we get the first. Okay, get that first. Okay, that's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. We're good to go. But these purples are going to cause us some troubles, aren't they? Now, I don't want to get an alchemist just yet. I feel like that's a little bit cheating. So, I mean, we could get a village, but I feel like that's going to be tough. So I'm just going to get one glue for now. Just one glue. We'll get him up to this one. I think that'll be kind of fun. Put him on strong too. Why not? There we go. Just one little glue gunner makes this guy strong. And it just he's a little too slow. 
Now I did do a little bit of testing in Sandbox and I went with a 230 boat and then a 032 boat. Cause I was like, okay, let's see if the bottom one's a little bit better. Cause I know they've buffed it over time. And honestly I did round 57, just those two, just each one separately on its own. And the damage was like a hundred pops off with the top path being the victor. And then the same with, I did round 98 and the same thing happened. So they're not like thousands of pops different, at least in my testing, my little basic little <laughs> bad testing. I guess I'm not a, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a marine biologist. I just pop balloons, but we got our boat here now. So I don't see us having really much problems from here. I don't think I could be wrong, but I don't think. Oh, but we don't have camo. No, 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 no. Let's pop that camo though. But I'm going to be real with you. I think the darts had a lot to do with the help. Yeah, we're doing more damage, but I don't think I would have slipped with the darts before. How we just let those kind of go through. I don't think that was an option before. Now I do want an alchemist later without hitting the glue. So would that be a safe one right there? I think like right there would be good or even there. Maybe that, that looks a little iffy like it won't hit, but I am going to put this. Actually, that's good. That's good right there. I love that. And we'll go camo first so we don't have to buy that anymore. But we still have seven rounds. So I lied. I lied. We're going to go jungle drums first. Should I just pull it or see if we can take it? Let's try to take it. Oh, we took it. There we go. That's all we needed. And see how it was like a little scary and then it just disappears? My face even probably changed. You probably saw like a little micro expression like that because it looks scary. I'm just going to get it now before I forget. So now we're good. Now I want to see how far this can take it on its own. And if we use the ability right, we'll be okay. Now, nothing has been done to the fifth tier, but if you don't remember, the fifth tier was already pretty busted. He was a great tower. Like once they buffed him a few, I want to say almost like a year ago now, everyone started using him for like all these chimps runs because he was just a powerhouse, just a great tower. And it pulls down three Moab class balloons in one go or one ZOMG. Very, 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 very useful. But they also buffed this guy a long while ago, just the fourth tier. And look how good he's doing on his own. Again, beginner map, but it's not the easiest one. It's not like Monkey Meadow where you have like 45 turns on it. It's just this one go and then you got it back on the back end. But we're doing it even with a little glue gunner. So I think ceramics are going to start giving us trouble here. I mean, we could do the whole strong first thing, I guess. I guess that's that works. Yeah, that actually worked really well. But I don't want to be microing this whole time. I just want him to be a powerhouse tower. I'm, honestly, I'm trying to get two mega pops with him just to prove how great he is because we can just go like look at that we can just pull that thing down that's pretty cool uh, if i buy too much glue then things might get crazy but i think i should at least get glue splatter in that one and then get moab glue a little bit later because i don't think we'll need moab glue for even a while because this thing will just should just do it right yeah okay but if we have more than one of those that's going to be trouble for sure and the boat bomb kind of reminds me of like recursive cluster it looks like it's going to disappear like it's going to make it out of the track and you're going to lose and it just disappears because it's a big old bomb so it's a little scary on that regard i think i might buy moab glue but i also think like if i just buy are you kidding me are you kidding me right now two blues and a red that's what we're gonna lose to with twenty one thousand dollars we'll need seven thousand for the pirate lord what are you doing to me all right i'm gonna take it out myself we're gonna do it ourselves guys we're, we're fighters take it out take it out take it out there we go take it first 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 yeah you can't you can't mess with me i know what i'm doing i'm a boat pro i've literally been a captain for like the last 10 years of my life i am captain joel of the little dinghy boat and if you don't know what a boston whaler is you gotta look it up it's so cool you guys will love it. it's just a tiny little dinghy boat that we put on the lake and try to feel cool about so i'm gonna pull that one and then this one will fight on our own because i think that's the way to do it and 37 is like real or i'm really gonna get scared so or 57, sorry, because there's just so much things going on with that. Actually, right now, we're going to get dunked on. Is it time for an alchemist already? That's kind of cheating, I think. Maybe not, though. Maybe we got this. Dude, Boat, why are you so good? All you have to do is slow the game down, and Mr. Boat knows what he's doing. Okay, Mr. Boat, you got this. I'm not using Geraldo. I'm not using nothing. I just want Boat to do it because he's so strong and so good. You got this, buddy, but the fourth rush is going to be too much for us for sure. For sure, right? Pull that one because I don't even care. I don't even care. Dude, I might get it before 58 and then we'll have, we got Pirate Lord, we're done. I didn't even have to buy anything. One reason I really love the boat, especially the Pirate Lord, it just yanks those things down. And then the recool down is actually really, really good, which is nice. Now I'd like to get like a top path submarine, but I don't want to because it's going to do damage. And again, we're trying to get all of the pops with just this boat. And I can just, I just love this. So I can just, and it pulls down two of them at a time. Can it take 63 though? I think it can. And as long as we use towers like the glue gunner and stuff, I, I don't think that's too cheap because look at it, it has zero pops. It's never going to get one single pop this entire time. He doesn't get any of the recognition for doing his job right. He's just the guy that everyone just beats around and says, here, come glue this for me. But I'm not going to give you any money for it. It's kind of mean actually. But this guy is a pirate, so he steals things. That's what he does. That's his life goal. So technically this guy can still sharpen, which makes absolutely no sense. Why, do, why is that? 
What's being sharpened though? Is it my grappling hooks? Or is it the dart that doesn't exist? I don't think that's supposed to be intended, right? Because the cannon won't do it and the grape fire won't do it. So what exactly is being sharpened? I have to run some tests on that. So we're gonna do one test with a sharpening stone. So a two, three, zero sharpened guy over here. Don't mind Geraldo's like tiny little pops. He just, I couldn't get him out of the way. But we're gonna see who has the most pops here. And this one does 35, 37. Well, it was more without it. I don't think that's the intended. I don't think that it was actually more without it. Okay, so it was a little bit more with it this time, 3,800. So I don't think that's enough for it to be a difference. Now, I bet all the pros in the comments are gonna be like, dude, you're a dumb dumb. Like, of course it's not doing anything or of course it's gonna add this or add that. But that's just my basic scientific balloons tests and the extent of my abilities. And it looked like it wasn't enough for, cause one time it did 400 less, one time it did 400 more with sharpening stone. Without it, it did just as good. So you be the judge. I'm not gonna use it cause it costs money. And I still don't know what it would sharpen. What's it sharpening? My hook on my arm? Can I pull down four instead of three BFBs? I don't think so, but that would be really, really cool. But look at this thing go. And if you guys didn't know, did you know you could go to settings or accessibility and then change the effect scale? Because what was happening was I was doing that phase one event where you have to beat phase as many times as you can. And the game was just so much. I couldn't see what was going on. My eyes were just everywhere. It was driving me crazy. And then you can turn down effects and then look it. Now the game runs like super smooth and it doesn't look all intimidating, but it, to me it looks completely broken and busted and I hate it. So I turned it back on. Like you need to see the explosions and the boom booms. Otherwise, what game are you playing? You know, is it just a ghost, ghost boat? Oh, it kind of is a ghost boat to be honest. He does look like the flying Dutchman. So maybe that's what's going on here. Now, of course, two mega pops has been done with the boat. No doubt about it. But I just want to see how easy is it. Like if you guys are looking for that two mega pops achievement, can you just knock it out with this like super fast? I think you can. And then when you want to speed things up, you just pull the BFB down because you're like, I'm not going to wait 30 minutes for it to get to me. Or if you just did this on logs, I'm sure, I don't even think you would need a glue gunner or anything on logs. On log, you just use this guy. He'll probably defeat the camo even without seeing camo. That's how easy logs is. And another reason, if I haven't given you enough to love the middle path boat, is because 80 is trivial. You just pull it down. Now you can't do more than one ZOMG, even though he can pull three, which is a big, huge bummer. But the thing regenerates so fast, like even 97 super easy, even 75 super easy, you can just pull everything down. Like you're like, oh, I don't want to fight the rest of these. I'm going to blow them up, but then I can't because they were too slow. But this one, three of them gone. Come at me, other three. Now I don't know on chimps if you're getting the right amount of pops for that though, are you? Or your money, I mean. Like, are you getting the right amount of money when you pop them with that grapple? That, that would be bad. Now, I've hit a little bit of a snag with these three ZOMGs. It's just too much. It doesn't regenerate in time. So I'm thinking if, like, just simple Moab glue. But then I'm wondering, like, can I afford this one? Can I almost get 77,000 for Ultra Boost? I feel like that would be the best route here. But then I'm a little nervous, obviously, because, like, that's just asking for trouble. Because if I can't get it, that's going to be painful. But it looks like overclock makes this guy just stoop. Oh my goodness. I was having struggles with that round and then it said nah. So if I can get perma boost, perma, ultra perma words. If I can get words, then we'll be okay. Now the problem is you just don't usually have enough time to actually use it. Like you only end up with like four or five before the big BAD. And oh, the BAD, that could be a problem. Can we take it down even with ultra boost? Oh, but we can't take 89, so that's a big waste. See, that's what I'm saying. Now I'm stuck with an overclock and not that much money. But I decided against like uh, an alchemist and stuff because he takes away from the pops. And my original plan was just to see how far I could get with this strong tower. But then I was like, might as well do an ultra, a two mega pops challenge, right? And so if that's the case, you obviously can't be spending that much on pops. So an alchemist would get like 50,000 pops right here, especially a permabrew. But these ceramics are just eating us alive. So what if we go relentless glue? I mean, that could probably help us out a little bit. But now again, we're just so far off of our ultra boost, it's just sickening. But it worked, it worked, that's what we needed. So this one's gonna come, we'll just pull three of them and then overclock the rest, I guess. Just, yeah, just do that, why not? Now, how do we feel about DDTs? I mean, obviously these first three, we can just pull them bloop, and they're done. <laughs> Round 90 is trivial, but you just don't know from moving forward. These ceramics are too much. Now, he really doesn't like to fight DDTs, and I'm assuming that's because 
we can't pop black balloons, right? And so we need the fire to take them down, which is a little gross. So how are we going to combat that without getting pops on towers? It might, we might just need an alchemist unless we go with like an MIB. But again, guess what that does? It puts us way off of the other one, but let's see if it does like a fat difference because I think that's what's happening. I think his bombs can't hit it. Oh yeah. Now it just destroys them. That's what they even out an overclock. So we are going to need the MIB unfortunately, which means we cannot get the ultra boost even longer. We need $15,000, there's no chance. So unfortunately I had to add another glue to the back because the ceramics are just overwhelming us. So he actually slows them down, which is nice. Now I have no idea what we're gonna do against this one. We might have to slow him down with the ninja. This is turning into be more of a battle than I thought it would be, let me tell you. 98 does not look promising. I'm gonna just use my overclock at first and I think that should be enough. And then we'll pull whatever's left. It might last the whole round. Oh, it did. Can we take down three ZOMGs? I think we can with just an overclock because it's just that good. And I don't even have to pull anything. Dude, that thing's busted. Like, do I want to get an ultra boost though? Like, do I want to? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. And then I just pull 97. This is so ridiculous. All right, so here's 98. We're gonna get dunked on for sure, but I don't know if it's gonna be that bad. Like we could just grab another overclock. So we're gonna pull. Once it gets a little out of hand, we're gonna overclock it now. Yeah, you see, this is what I meant earlier when I was saying that like you just get overwhelmed. So it is a beginner map, but it's not. No, it's still a beginner map, let's be real. So here's how we're gonna play this, all right? We're gonna pull our first one. We're gonna, we're gonna tempt them, we're gonna scare them. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna overclock and then we're going to homeland and save our slowdown just in case. Cause I don't wanna like use up all of our abilities cause that's how you just get dunked on, especially on 99. Dude, we did it. I think we did it. I think we did it. Oh my goodness, homeland overclock is great. Forget ultra boost, I think stupid. All right, so here we go. We got everything back too. Oh my goodness. We're just gonna pull these three down, get them out of the way here. I'm just gonna one overclock. How about that? We're not gonna do everything. No, we got to. Do I do it? Do I do it? No, we didn't get it. Dang it. So here's how we're gonna play this one. They wanna mess with me. Like We're gonna slow it down, pull them, and then overclock now to get that thing spinning. And that should be enough. Yeah, there we go. Now we can homeland, we can do everything. We have $20,000. He has all of the pops if I can pop this thing open. Nobody else has a dime of pops. I love it. Now what else can we do besides double overclock here? That's probably what we're gonna have to do. So I'm gonna start with that first double overclock. And as soon as it starts hitting, we'll homeland, overclock, and then as soon as it leaves, we'll do it again. So we'll slow it down, pull it. I think that might actually work. And just in case, I don't want to lose it at a terrible time. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Look how close we are. We're so close. Forget this, guy. Let's just do this. I think I'll have enough pop still. I think you still get like 20,000 or so with it. So this should be fine. You know what? We're not going to play these games anymore. We're winners, not losers. This might actually work. All I need was a little bit of extra pops and there's my two million. We have more than enough. Okay, he still got the two mega pops. That's all we wanted. That's all we cared about. Two million pops, the boat's still strong. I don't really think that buff is a buff, but I don't think it's a nerf. Is it a buff? I think it might be technically a buff. Is it the biggest deal in the world? No, I like the darts. I think a boat needs darts, but that's just me. And if you haven't yet, check out this video where we attempt the ultimate challenge in Bloom City 6 and Apex Plaza Master Paragon in chimps mode.